Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Nah, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> oh, hey, Arthur. Mister? Fine morning. Well, don't look quite right. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> Are you ever going to get the hang of this? Some real beautiful country around this area. Okay. Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? Look out! Apprentice. More like servant. You want a fitting? out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, 
Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right. What we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your aunt. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. <laughs> Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you uh. back. You gonna get it? You gonna get it?
Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> Whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work.
My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. 
We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you'll buy us some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. <laughs> What can I do for you? Seen a lot of that lately, but they always move. Thanks again. Help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Goodbye. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I caught some reprobate camping around my back door. Oh, easy there. Take Watch where you're going. My sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Hey, how you doing? So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! Get back there! What the fuck have you ever made, lady? Oh, oh, right now. What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. I'm gonna run this no. son of a bitch down! Okay, then. Ah! You okay? 
here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? You show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. You can tell the Dutch. Maybe. If he asks. But, maybe not. Hey, watch it! So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ripping Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, uh, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of problems. Not a chance. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Hey. Arthur. Do you hear me? Arthur. So. What do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. <laughs> <laughs> 